Hi guys, this is Peggy with I'mLosingItToday.com and I have to say I have a good friend of mine, Robin Moore. She's here with me today and Robin, and I'm going to make sure she has been 10 years as a beauty consultant with Mary Kay Cosmetics and I know a lot of people probably know Mary Kay. We were just talking about it earlier. They're the ones that have with the pink Cadillac. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then she has been five years as a sales director and she has been mentoring and coaching women on how to start their own business and how to be successful in their business. And you were telling me you have earned two cars already mm -hmm. yes. and three diamond rings. Yes. Well, I think that's awesome. That to me says you've been very successful with your business. Yes. And so for our first segment today, um, Robin is going to talk about risk versus reward and you know we're not necessarily going to talk about cosmetics today even though you represent Mary Kay which mm -hmm. is an excellent company mm -hmm. I've used Mary Kay myself for years um, but we're going to talk about the risk of wanting to start an own business and how you coach women with getting this business off the ground can you just tell us a little bit about that sure um, this is not a new concept to me, but um, it just got, sometimes we need to get hit on the head yeah. and reintroduced <laughs> to concepts. Um, so your, every woman has a high expectation for what they want in life. Um, you know, we want, as a Christian, I want to have a close relationship to the Lord. Right. As a wife, I want to have a great relationship with my husband. I want right. to raise my kids and, and we just have a, a, a good high expectations for how we want our kids to turn out. Um, and as a businesswoman, I have high expectations as to what, it's no different for me. I, I still want to have that success and I want to be a good steward with the, um, the abilities that God's given me. Right. Um, so, but we're at, we're with women, we tend to want things to be secure as well. Mm -hmm. So we look at our security level. And so we're willing to risk so much, you know, a lower risk, but it might <laughs> be a risk there. Yeah. Um, but we're not necessarily, but we have our, these super high expectations. Right. And when we risk low, we will receive low. A lot of that's getting out of your comfort zone. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but even I could be out of my, believe it or not, I could be out of my comfort zone and still only risking low. Right. So right. It, it is when we take that broad look at our life and say, really, is this, is this a low risk for me? Is this a right. high risk for me? The higher the risk, the higher the reward. Right. And I'm not necessarily saying go out there and, you know, spend a hundred thousand yeah. dollars of somebody so else's car. money <laughs> and, and that high of a risk. But for us, it could just be, you know, do I talk to that woman that walked by that looked right. really sharp and I just would like to get to know her? Yeah. Or would I take a leap of faith and start my in-home business? Um, I could not find the quote, but there, um, Dave Ramsey talks about how um, in the next few years, you know, a huge jump in owning your own business right. within your home yeah. and how it is just a great opportunity that even if you work a full-time job, mm -hmm. when you own your own you own a small business in your home, you can still balance your life. Um, for me, my spiritual life mm -hmm. and my family, and then also um, have that extra business to bring in some extra money. Because let's face it, a little extra money yeah. is really why most people are attracted to an in-home yeah. business. And I think in-home business for me is just being able to have that flexibility and calling your own shots. Yeah. You know, and you, like my kids are all grown. I'm an empty nester at this point. Um, my youngest is 22. You still have kids at home. Correct. And you are, and I know they like playing sports. Mm -hmm. And I would not take that time. I was able to make all my kids sports games. And I would never, ever trade that time. I mean, I understand a lot of people do have to work full time. And, you know, they have that choice that they can do that. But being able to, if that's what you want to do, to be able to go to your kids' sports games, and but to be able to work out of your home, and you're a good example of, yeah, you can be successful and you can make good money by working out of your home and taking those risks that you want, you need to take. Sure. You know? And I think of a lot of times, it's just like um, when you go out and you want to give a track out to somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, what is your fear? 
what are, I mean, what are they going to do? I doubt they're going to knock you down and start beating you up. They might just say, no, I don't want that. We have this fear of rejection sure. and not succeeding, but you have to get past that. Yeah. Most, um, I would say most people that I meet, um, that fear is what holds them back. Whether, yeah. it, um, you know, it is a leap of faith to try yeah. something you've never tried before or absolutely. to attempt something that is totally out of your comfort zone. It's absolutely a leap of faith. But um, that's where you analyze. To me, you you analyze or surround yourself with women that um, can mentor you and help right. you decide, you know, okay, is this risk worth taking right. um, versus the reward? Now, I, I find that... Um, I'm willing to try anything once, yeah. you know, or even for a short amount of time. Yeah. Um, I definitely would say I have, I, I enjoy the risk. Um, so I'm willing to, you know, try things just to see how it would right. work. Like even within my own business, um, do I want to try this for a while and see if it works? Right. And if it works, great. But analyzing whether that, right. that risk was worth it, mm -hmm. did I get the reward that I wanted? And then saying, okay, if I did, then I'll keep doing it. Right. If I didn't, then I will try something new. Yeah, because that's the old saying, no pain, no gain. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I think they use that more for exercise. I don't know, but <laughs> it still has well, the same concept. You there know? can be emotional pain. Because like you said, we women do have a fear of rejection. I think anybody has a fear, a fear of, of rejection. rejection. We don't and... want to be rejected. But I learned early on in my business that you know, one person's no may be another person's yes. Yeah. And it's really more about how many people you talk to. Um, if you talk to 100 people, you're going to have no's in there. Right. But you're going to have yeses in there and you're going to have maybes. Exactly. So it's more or less about, um, you know, just willing to be consistent and willing to be um, focused and willing to risk a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and it's nice. I, I've risked without having to jeopardize my spiritual walk or my yeah. relationship with my family. Have I been to every single game? I have not been to every single game, but I've been to most of them. Have right. I been to every field trip? Well, I don't, let's face it, I don't necessarily want to go to every field trip. Um, yes, but, some of them are like, okay, enjoy that. <laughs> yes, yes, you go have fun, you know, but I'm at least to one. And plus they get, let's face it, they're expensive. So, yeah. um, so I have to, I have to analyze, is this, you know, is that risk of being away out of my house and not working? Because you do have right. to work. When you're in right. an in-home business, you absolutely have to put the time and effort in. We yep. think that there's get-rich schemes out there no. that will solve all your problems, and it just really isn't so. It's no. really about putting your effort and, and hard work it. into it. Um, and but I think I, you have to be disciplined. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, motivation, we think that we're going to get some external motivation that will just move us and shake us and, and make us these super successful people overnight. But really, motivation is internal determination. Right. So if you internally determine and focus on a goal of what you want to achieve, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be an in-home business. It could right. be that your house is a mess. It could yeah. be... Um, that you need to exercise, whatever it is in life, um, your your motivation comes from within, right. your internal. And as a Christian, it comes, you know, from the Holy Spirit working on your flesh to say, hey, right. you need to be determined. Right. You need to be a good steward of what I've given you. And sometimes that hardest step is the first one. Sure. The first step. Absolutely. But you're not going to do anything great in life if you, great in life if you don't take that first step. Yeah. I mean, when I started doing this, I'm like, oh man, this is really out of my comfort zone. But I have just been able to just fall in love with it because I'm loving the people that sure. I'm meeting and I'm learning a lot from mm -hmm. different aspects of, you know, everybody's different in life. Everybody's got different things going on in life. And that's why I, I started doing this mm -hmm. is because I wanted to help women. Yeah. Just I, as you do. Absolutely. When I, well, it's so funny because I think um, people see me now, but it's really been a 10-year journey right. to get to this point. Yeah, it doesn't happen overnight. Kind of, no, it doesn't happen overnight. Yeah. And when I first started, um, I was very nervous, and I wasn't sure what to say to people right. and how to talk to people and, and how to communicate. And But I knew I was willing to try. I knew I was at least willing to try and put some right. effort into it. Right. And, um, you know, I can't even imagine my life 
without yeah. it. So I'm so glad I was willing to at least try. Yeah. Well, Robin, those are some great, I don't want to say tips. That's just great information of how you are helping women and motivating women. And I can't wait to hear what you have to say for our next segment. Awesome. So, Thank you. All right. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Tune in on Wednesday for our next segment. See you later. Bye. Bye.